Hi everyone, it's Gail and I am here today going to work on this old dictionary. I am going to get the cover ready to um, to hold the signatures that I made for it. So we will say hi and hugs here. Hi and hugs to Janet, Darcy, Vanessa, and Carol. Thank you so much for watching and your kind comments. Okay, well this this bad boy needs some work. So let's get all the pages out of it. First thing that I'm going to do is clean it up a little bit. So I'm just going to take a baby wipe and just gently go over it. There's, it's just got lots of crumbs. Lots of crumbs on this guy. So I'm just going to See if I can get it to where it's <laughs> it's not so messy to work with, you know. Okay. And then here. Okay. Now, it's a, a lot of what's crummy <laughs> is the spine here. So, but um, we are going to get it fixed up. I'm just going to shake it over the basket here and see if that helps okay so this has as you can see these little spots well I want to keep those because they're cool and so what I'm going to do is get something a piece of paper I'll just gra grab a piece of paper I just want something under this so that hmm I'm just having a thought that that might, let's use some like acetate or something. Um, let's use, oh gosh. I kept grabbing page protectors. I'm gonna use this acetate so it doesn't stick underneath. Okay, so what I'm thinking I'm gonna do is I have some twine here and I know it was twine before it was big thick twine see on the edge it's still kind of some there's some remaining so um, that's I don't have any that thick but I think if I like double or triple this I don't know but I think it will work to kind of repair that Maybe a double. Under there. Maybe triple. I think I'm gonna go triple. Okay, so let's let's get these measured out and ready to go in here. I I'm totally winging this, you guys. I don't really don't really know what I'm doing, but I think I have a plan that's gonna work. So yeah, that feels about right. Triple feels about right. Okay. So what I'm going to do is cut. I have one, two, three, four of those. So we'll cut the other ones too. And I can just do it this way. It'll be easier. So hope you're all having a good day. I've been excited to dig into this ever since I found it at the antique mall um, on my retreat. And... Uh, yeah, so I I showed yesterday, I already have the signatures done. There's going to be seven signatures in this. Because look at that spine. How big is that? It's like, it's at least three inches, I would think. Oh, yeah, it's nearly three and a half inches. So it's a big old spine. So, yeah, um, it's... But I think it's it's so cool, and I love the raggedy edges. And um, look at there's old tape on it. It's just cool. And it was falling apart, so we are going to give it new life. Now I am going to use Fabri-Tac for this part, and and see this is going to be fiddly, I think, but that's okay. I just. I just really want to preserve these bumps if I can. So I'm going to put a good amount of Fabri-Tac along there. And 
lay this in there. I'm going to get all sticky. Sometimes you just got to do it, though. Okay. You know what I think I'm going to do? So I think I'm going to glue down the first layer and then it'll be a little bit dry and I can go second layer and third layer after it kind of dries. Like that. I feel like this is one of those where there's a will, there's a way kind of things. <laughs> because I just really wanted to fix these. <clears throat> so. So I hope you're all doing well today. We are good. We got busy first thing this morning. We went to our pharmacy. Mike's doctor said it was time for us to get another you-know-what booster, so we did. So did that this morning. And then when we came home, our contractor was here. Woohoo! So um, he's ordering a couple more things for, um, for the deck, and then the deck will be done. And um, as soon as we kind of get it cleaned up and because there's like footprints all over it and stuff. So once we get that done, I'll do a video and show you guys. Because you have lived through this traumatic experience with me. Okay. Ew, my fingers are so dirty of fabric tack. Okay. They're so sticky. Everything's sticking to me. Okay, let's get a... Let me get a baby wipe here. Um... Yeah, so anyway, and also, our upstairs windows are in. Oh, that's going to be, I'm not looking forward to that. It's going to be a bit invasive, if you know what I mean. And um, also, the guy talked us in while we were looking at the windows. He talked us into changing out our vanities, which they needed. They were um, bad. The, the people that remodeled and did a master bathroom, for the most part, they did a decent job on the remodel. Gosh, I can't do that. Um, but for some reason in the bathroom, I mean, the bathroom's lovely. It's got, you know, lovely tile, all that stuff. I think I'm gonna let that dry. I'm gonna set this over on my tray and let that dry. So what else can we do? We can do some, actually, let's do this. We can do some other pieces of this, I think. So first thing, I need to make a template because I'm gonna, um, in order to put the uh, signatures in. So I'm going to let that dry a bit, and then we'll try and fold it back over and glue it again. Okay. Um, what was I saying? Oh, and then um, they just, it's lovely. It's, you know, nice tile, nice fixtures and all of that. But then El Cheapo cabinets, and the cabinets, um, like the doors are wonky and stuff. Yeah, they just didn't... I guess I need to measure the height too, don't I? There we go. So, yeah. So anyway, we're going to change out the cabinets to a nicer cabinet. So that's the next step. Then, after they do that, they're going to do our front porch. So, and then after that, they're going to reside the house. It's going to be like a new house once we get it all done. Oh my goodness. But, but, you know, she's old. She's been around for, since the seventies, our house. Okay. So seven signatures. So how long is this? 
not quite 10. Wouldn't you know it wouldn't be not quite 10. So I'm going to go like right about there for the middle. And then we'll go an inch up on each one. So I'm just going to, I want to get it so I can draw a, draw a straight line. I'm just using the lines on my mat to line her up. Okay, that's close enough. And then let's go an inch on each end. My husband's mowing. I hope it, it's not causing you have difficulty hearing. It's supposed to rain today, so he's like, I got to get it done. So, yeah, anyway, anyway, it's happy that it's kind of going to be coming along. I said thank you to our contractor for persevering because <laughs> I'll tell you, there's, it's just, it's been a problem of just not being able to get workers. So let's see, we have three and one, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm going to go one and a half and one, two, three. And that's going to be one and a half and one, two, three. That's going to be the middle right there. Okay, one and a half and one, two, three lines. <laughs> Very precise. <laughs> oh. So, yeah, so life's plugging along here. So let's see, what do we have this week? We have um, our granddaughter has her, uh, has a track meet on Thursday. So we have to drive to that. It's about an hour and 45 minutes one way. And we go and watch her run for like under, like, you know, 15 seconds. <laughs> The 300 hurdles are a little bit longer. Okay, so. So then I'll have three on each side, right? That'll be seven. That makes seven, Gail. That makes seven. I don't, I don't know. Okay, so how much is this? Oh. Okay, so that's one and three quarters. So. I don't know, having the, I'm just gonna eyeball it. I'm gonna split the difference there. About right, about right there. See, that's over too far. Okay, how'd I do that? Right about there. That about it? No, it's still off. Okay, that's about an inch then. Okay. And then that way I can get these kind of, kind of lined up. Doesn't have to be perfect, but I want it to be close. <laughs> Close to perfect. I think about three quarters of an inch looks pretty good there. So, yeah, we have that, but I don't think we have anything this weekend. Okay, so now I need to put two there. So... This one, I'm going to go on that line. And here. And here. It felt like when, um, yeah, same one, I think. So anyway, um, yeah, it felt like when I was doing the signatures, I was like, 
I at first I far, started off with five and that just it was not enough to fill the book so I added a couple more <laughs> it's gonna be a fat so for sure okay so then if I go here Looks like about right there. Out here. It's going to be close enough, I think, guys. We're going to go with it. And here. And I, I totally understand there may be a better way to do this. This just works for me. Yep. Okay, and I'm going to put a T here, and that's going to be the top. Okay, so we did that. So that's ready to go. Let's see. Let's see how this is doing. Oh, yeah, that's stuck down. Okay little wonky there okay so now I'm gonna oh I forgot to put the lid on this I hope that's not a problem let me okay just gonna go right along this string and hopefully be able to bend this down in there like that I wish I would have had thicker string then I could have just done one level but I didn't so okay looks at my work okay it's so hard when you're all sticky Okay, this is called making something from nothing, you know. <laughs> yeah, I just didn't have thick enough twine. But I think this is going to work because this will have a, this will have a cover on it. So it'll be mushed down by the cover too. Okay, so far so good. neighbors were out hurrying up and doing some yard work today too it was like hurry the rain is coming I had to go out and spray my deer spray on my flowers again because my tulips and daffodils are blooming and the deer love the tulip buds for whatever reason and so so far, so good. I have some actually blooming this year. Okay, let me use this guy a little bit. Because he have better luck. I feel like I did good on the rest of them. This one, not so much. Well, that's tedious, very tedious. Okay, well, we're gonna lay that over again and we're gonna work on, we're gonna work on another thing, which is, I've got a Tyvek envelope here. And what I wanna do with it 
is I'm going to want it a bit bigger than, um, than the spine so that it can go over those um, edges where the front and back hitch into the spine. Um, because, yeah, I think I'm just going to cut it right where that seam is. Um, let's see, do I want to pull this off? And I use Tyvek because it's tough as nails. It really is. And so it should do some work at strengthening, at strengthening that um, spine. And then we're going to have two more layers besides this. So I, don't, I do only want it this tall. Let's see. I think what I'm going to do is cut it off there and cut it off here. Okay. So I want to cut it off here. And I'm going to cut this little double part here. All right. So that is ready to go. Now, after I put the Tyvek on, I'm going to use some Craft Tex. Craft Tex is awesome stuff. If you guys haven't haven't used it, um, it really is. It's really great stuff. So I'm going to use two two widths of this or two layers of this. One I'm going to put over the Tyvek, but then the, the second one I am going to um, use to uh, sew in the spine, or the signatures, sew in the signatures. So, yeah, it's really, it's really great stuff. I used to, I used to do shares on this because um, at Creativation in 2019 I kind of was hooked up with the company CNT Publishing that they were they were the suppliers of this um, at the time and then and then they quit so uh, we had there's all different colors of this, and so we did, had a different color every month. Did I not? Yes, I didn't. Um, and so I would show it on my channel and make a project with it. It makes great covers. I like the pre-washed better for covers. We'll have to make one of those. That's kind of a that's a forgotten friend, really. Okay, so there's our two. And um, the one, one is just going to be on the spine. The other one is going to, is go, we're going to sew into. So I'm going to let the, that string dry a little bit more. And let's, let's poke the holes in the spine where we're going to sew in. Just kind of trying to trying to keep going, but um, oh, what do I want? I want I want my little book, my little whole pokey book, garage sale paperback that has been my pokey book for gosh, I don't know how long. Okay, so top. Okay. I think what I'm going to do is on the back side, I'm going to put a T there so I can remember that. Okay, so let's pokey our holes. And 
And then after I sew in the signatures onto this, then I'll just glue it to the other piece of um, craft text in the spine. That's how that's going to work. Okay. I think once we get the next string laid down, then we can just go right ahead and probably get our craft text and the Mm. See? See? See the holes? <laughs> yeah, well, hungry for lunch. It's getting about that time. working my left arm. It's good. It's the one I got the shot in. You're supposed to move it a lot, aren't you? After you get a vaccine? I think so. Okay. So that is ready to um, do that with. Okay. So let's, first of all, I'm going to put this away because, or at least sort of away. I don't know. I don't know. We might just sew in like one or two signatures, however much we have time for or something. Keep forgetting to put the lid on that. Okay. Okay, so let's get that last one laid down here, hopefully. I'm, I'm debating. I was going to put the Tyvek on, then the craft text, but I'm kind of thinking I may put the craft text on first just because um, there's kind of holes in the spine every once in a while, and I don't want white to show through. So I may kind of switch my thinking on that. It really probably doesn't matter from a stability standpoint, I don't think. Actually, I think the craft text would squish down this, um, squish down this string better, you know? Kind of thinking. Okay. Yeah, I didn't necessarily plan on this part. I thought I might have some. I'm sure you guys would have ideas of other things that would have worked to do this. But this is working decently. Oops. <laughs> until, until you do that. <laughs> Oh, you guys, we watched a good movie last night. I should tell you about that. I will, my disclaimer is there's violence in it, but um, it was called The Accountant with Ben Affleck and Anna Kendrick was in it and there was a bunch of big stars, uh, John Lithgow. So, Lithgow, however you say his name. Anyway, um... When it got done, I said to Mike, that was a good movie. I really, really enjoyed that. Okay, so now let's take this piece of craft text and put it down there. Okay, we're going to glue that sucker. There's going to be more glue on this spine than, than I don't know what. But I thought I thought you might enjoy seeing how I try and get this get this guy back to 
his original strength or stronger. <laughs> That's my goal. And of course, I will just leave it lay flat to dry for as long as it wants to. Okay. All right, so we did that. Where's my, this guy. Okay. So that is down. Now we're going to take our tie back and go like this. Now I will do something to cover it up. <coughs> Excuse me, probably, probably some fabric of some sort, I'm thinking. I don't know. But we're going to lay this down now. Yeah, so anyway, um, it's a movie worth checking out, I think. Um, it's, you know, there was enough ad action adventure to satisfy my husband, and yet a theme that went through it that I thought was, was kind of touching. Okay, now yeah, I'll get that. I'm going to have to refill my Fabri-Tac bottle, aren't I? Okay, so let's try to kind of center that a bit. Okay. Alrighty then. Okay. Okay. Oops. I need another baby wipe. <laughs> Going through them today. Going through them. I'm trying to kind of keep that crease there. Might have to cut a little off of that. Okay. So we did that. Now, all right, now, um, some fabric. I've kind of got pastels in terms of the I mean I could do lace but I don't want the um the Tyvek to show through so um let's see hmm. I'm looking at what I have handy I have this, which here's the, the first signature. Let's see what we think. I'm okay with it being a little bit raggedy because I think this, it's not bad. Let me just see if I have something else. Of a big old box of fabric strips. I have some that are close to me, but these were across the room. So thank you for talking amongst yourselves for a moment. Um, let's see what we what we have that would go 
See, I was looking at this one. Yes, that's it. There we go. Quick decision there. And I think if I tear that in about half, I should be good. I'm not sure. I think, though, this was on top, so I think it's from Gypsy General Store. Not positive on Etsy. All these little fabric strips are from Etsy, though. Okay, let's see. I'm going to go ahead and if I can find my scissors, I'm going to cut this. Just because I don't want that to fight with the fold. That can be a little cluster or something. Okay, so I'm going to cut it the length of the book. Okay. Okay. Now let's kind of fold it in half. I'm going to give that a snip and then tear it. I could go the whole width of this. I just don't really need to because I'm going to have the, um, I'm going to have this here. See what I'm saying? You picking up what I'm putting down here, peeps? So I'm going to go down the edge of the Tyvek down the middle and I'm going to go right along the edge and um, somewhere do I have a card somewhere I don't know what I did with it okay I think it'll be okay um, if you smooth out your Fabri-Tac a bit it's less likely to leave a splotch, but I think I'm okay with just how I did it. Okay. Alrighty then. Now, we're going to put this down there. Oh, see, that's globbing a bit, so I'm going to just... Spread that out a little so it doesn't. Okay. Because I don't want it to. I want to see splotches. Okay. Okay, so that's laying down. So all we have left to do is sew in our signatures into this, and then we will glue this to here. Hope that makes sense. Let's see how we do in time-wise. We're actually pretty good. I'll maybe just do a couple of signatures. and Okay. What I do want to do, though, after I scrub my hands again, is um, I want to turn it over and see how we did in terms of our bumpies. I'm just so hopeful that that looks bumpy again. Ugh. <laughs> I'll be pulling off Fabri-Tac for the next six hours. Goodness. Okay. Okay, but see oh yeah oh yay it worked it worked that is so awesome okay one thing I want to do 
here. Yep, that worked. That worked really well. Okay, good, good. Um, we've got a little peely uppy right here that I'd like to get tacked down before it goes somewhere. Look how raggedy it is. It's it's just kind of fun. It's raggedy, but now it's strong again. So, yay us. We made it strong. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this aside to dry. Because I want to keep it flat while it dries. Put that over on my other table. Okay, here is my signatures. Um, get rid of a few things here. To make my life a little less cluttered. Okay, there's that. I'm gonna need that. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and grab my cradle. And my clips. Okay, so again, what I will do with this is, okay, so here's top. What I will do is go from kind of the bottom and go up like that. So I want my last signature, which is this one. And we're just going to clip it and put it in as we would any other. So I, and I think they are just all ready to go got them all ready at the retreat yeah i spent this is what i spent with it uh saturday morning doing um just had a had kind of a good time doing it too let's see what color do we want i don't know do i have enough of that for seven signatures hmm do I have another one of these? That's the question. I have a similar color. You know what? I'm just going to go ahead and use this one. So, um, so that I don't run out, you know? Okay. So we'll do a couple of these and then we'll call it good or, or one or how I mean, however many we can get done here. And what I was kind of thinking was for any pockets and things, I was thinking of just kind of using out of my pre-made ephemera and seeing what might go and have it be kind of eclectic and, you know, different, different stuff. So, okay, so this is the top. So... I am going to lay this in. Where would I do with my pencil? Oh, right here. Okay, so the obviously the signature is smaller this way than your cover. So what I do is I put a little mark on um, either on my template or whatever. So... Um, Actually, no, that's not how I do it. I do it on the template. So, yes, do it on the template. So there, um, I've kind of got equidistant hanging over on each side. But I'm just going to mark this. So then every signature that I do, I can line up the top with that mark, if that makes sense. And I'm just going to pull this back and I'm going to put a dot right where the line goes. Two. Okay. And then we shall poke it. And just easy peasy. Put a little hole at each dot. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is get my thread and then what I'll do is cut six more of them just so that it's not you know I'm not measuring on the page every time 
So three times the height of the of the signature, and I'm gonna cut that. And then I'm real quick gonna do six more of those. Because it's much quicker to do it this way. And then we'll just have all of our thread ready to go. Just sew them all in. So my pal Lynn at the retreat, oh, look at that. That's not great. Huh? So now this is probably too long. Yep. That was weird. Um, my pal Lynn at the retreat, she uh, um, said, are you going to do this, <laughs> do that book on camera? Said, I'll do it. I'll do it since you asked. So hi, Lynn. I miss you already. But my pal Lynn's coming to my retreat, my hosted, re or, you know, the one I'm hosting in a few weeks. So we'll get to hang out again. She's so fun. Okay, so I think that's it. Three. Yeah, I think that's right. Okay, cool. Now, I'm going to take this guy, top, right here. And we're going to sew it in, but I need a needle, don't I? Details, details. Okay. All right, so now... Just as I always do, in through the middle, and got the top, and in through the middle on our um, hidden spine. Okay, and then I'll just leave that for now, and then go in hole. I maybe could have made those slightly bigger, but that's okay. It'll work. And we're going to go in our spawn. Okay. Pull that kind of tight and go in slightly at an angle so I don't catch the thread. Go back through. If you catch the thread, you can't pull it tight is why you avoid doing that. Okay, and then we have this one. Yep. Just like that. Okay, and then we're just going to cinch that up as tight as we can. I'm going to thread this through to the other side, like so. Pull her tight. Give it a double knot. I'm actually going to give it a double knot, and then I'm going to tie a bow because I won't have... That'd be a lot of charms for seven signatures. Okay, so there's our first one in. And then we just have to repeat it six more times. <laughs> and then you see, I will just, once all the signatures in, I will glue the spine and just pop this right down into the spine of the book. So let's do... Let's do one more, just one more. Um, can't seem to find the middle of the signature. There it is. Did not use a digital 
at all in this journal. And um, I have had that request before too, if you don't have digitals. Honestly, if you don't have digitals, these papers from uh, the paper studio at Hobby Lobby, they're one-sided and they're thin. I mean, you know, they're, they're a thin type. So what I did was I put um, 49 and market paper on the outside and then I used the thin ones on the inside. So, you know, really they're very much like a, um, a digital that you would, you would print at home. So, okay, I'm lining up my little line here and then getting that right at the top and then we'll put our dots. Okay. So I guess after I eat lunch, I'll finish putting these in. And I'll show you. I'll show you um, in videos to come. We'll probably decorate this together because because why not? Why wouldn't we? So, go through the middle again, and then we take our little hidden spine. And, um, and you can see why it's easiest to go from the back to the front, because this way you've kind of got gravity helping you. So, it's holding down that other signature. Just lay it on the table while you're sewing in the sewing in the next batch. Okay. So it makes me so happy. We're giving this old dictionary a new life was all falling out and all the but oh my gosh I'll be using the papers forever won't I I gave Lynn a whole bunch but um plenty left <laughs> so yeah I'll have lots of to do lots of projects with the dictionary pages okay and there's the second one. So we will I will just continue on and put in the next five. And that's how that will go. And um, I'll just show you one more time because I'll probably do it off camera. Then what I will do. Let's get let's grab our cover. So there's our cover. What I will do is I will cover the whole spine with lots of glue and then we will just, I will just place that there and that will, that will be how our, how our pages get put in. So, so I hope you enjoyed this. I had fun. I'm super excited that it works so well. So yeah, so all of you have a grateful day. Thank you so much for watching and we will just see you in the next video. Bye everyone.